Okay. Been down to the local charity shop and got some records. Yes, many of these are ones that I remember from my youth, which I lost a long time ago, so quite delighted at finding some of these. Except, of course, the condition of some of these is not exactly great. I mean, this is one of the ones I remember from my youth. Played it. Really disappointed at the condition it was in. Uh, I was going to say something, I forgot. <clears throat> I'm sure they tried to play it on an old wind-up gramophone or something like that. Anyway, the interesting thing I want to show you... Let's just... Is these little records here. Now... I actually might think that's just an ordinary 45. Actually, just putting it on top of a regular 45, you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And... It's a 78. Except, of course, the stupid camera won't focus on it. Oh, there we go. And look at the date, 1974. Now, I thought this production of 78 stopped at around 1960, but there's living proof. I've got another one of those as well. 78s from the 1970s. Also got a standard 45 size 78 here, which unfortunately I stepped on. And a couple of LPs went the same way as well. I'm quite annoyed with myself about that, actually. I suppose I could give you a demonstration of these records. They are, after all, they are microgroove. And just a little update on the homemade record player. Well, I decided to move. I decided to put the preamplifier bit on this bit of cardboard here because it's just not going to fit under there. So, anyway, just a quick overview of this. Everything above this line, that's all power supply, and everything under the line, well, that's where the actual preamplifier circuit is. And I've even put a potentiometer in to regulate the output so it doesn't overdrive an amplifier. And I'll just give you a little bit of a preview. Yeah, now it's sort of baby music, but I'm, you know, trying to collect odd things, it's just odd records and things like that. That's a terrible disease, you know, Alice. I was sick with it for a week. So this is the other one. Of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. I hate winter. And last side of the vote and blah blah blah. And the next side of this record. And finally, I will just play a little clip from that other 78. Because although it's made of that hard stuff, it still has the tiny micro groove size, so it is playable. Now finally the other side, I'll just have to take the I'll just have to take the tape off this side because try to repair it. It didn't go too well. Did you get a word of that? Anyway, my camera battery's running out. 
even though I've only just charged it. So now if you want to hear those records played in full, then just, you know, comment and say you do. And I've had to go over to the other camera because the battery life on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I only get about 10 minutes of charge from a fully charged battery. Anyway, I'll just show you quickly a couple of the flexi discs. I can definitely get away with playing this side of this one on YouTube. Maybe not the other side, but this side should be alright. Not so sure about this one, but I'll play a little bit of it anyway. So as you can see, that's sort of like a sampler record. And now I'll play this. I'll play this side of this one. Now this one seems to be some kind of an advertisement for some kind of a keyboard. Let's just have a give it a little bit of a listen. Digital synthesizer on the market today. Only conventional recording techniques were used. There are no additional instruments. probably get away with playing this one on YouTube and those 378s shouldn't have any problems with that so if you want me to post on YouTube the complete side of this record and those 378s or what's playable of that other one and yes yeah, so leave a message on your little something stuck to my thing there and other things I've been doing I've been tinkering with this radio been trying to tap off the first RF stage in the quest for higher quality AM reception Hasn't been too successful so far. All I've managed to do is find the IF stage, which is right here. If I connect the amplifier right up to the diode here. Hmm, don't know what the hell that was. I think that was supposed to be music. But anyway, as you can tell, that does kind of work. I think the first RF stage is done by these two transistors here instead of diodes. I haven't actually tested around there so far. But anyway, I've got a few things to do, so... Yes, I guess I'll see you next time, and yeah, whatever. Couldn't be asked to say until next time goodbye.